Welcome to Avid Huddle, a collaborative tool that allows your team to easily share content from Media Composer to Microsoft Teams in real time, creating a virtual over the shoulder review experience. Let's look at how you'll set up your system to use Huddle for the first time. First, you or your administrator need to assign a Huddle license to the email associated with your Avid account. Once that happens, you'll receive an email from Avid confirming you've been granted access to Huddle. Just click this button in the email to get started. Avid.com opens and asks you to log into your Avid account. At the top of the My Products page, a message appears stating that your Huddle license activation has already begun and will be completed in a few minutes. The license can be used when you refresh this page, and the message no longer appears. After your license is activated, you'll want to confirm your system meets certain technical requirements before hosting a Huddle session. Most importantly, you need to have access to Media Composer Ultimate or Enterprise 2023.12 or newer, either on a local computer or in an edit-on-demand subscription. Although that's the minimum version needed, using the most recent Media Composer release ensures access to the latest Huddle features. When you install or upgrade Media Composer, make sure both the SRT and Avid Huddle plugins are checked during the install process. Since Huddle uses SRT, it won't install unless both of these are selected. Then follow the rest of the installation process as usual. Huddle will automatically install within Media Composer, so no additional configuration steps are required. Finally, a host needs a working license for Microsoft Teams. Huddle works with either work or school editions of Teams in both the new and classic modes. With that, you're ready to host your first Huddle session. <laughs>